name is Wayne. I'm an artist in Waikiki, and I've been performing for several years now as a spray paint artist, entertainer. Okay, I set up my uh, area out in front of the Kings Village Shopping Mall, and I do a, a show that involves uh, spray cans, spray cans of paint, uh, lots of music, lots of dancing and juggling, and I incorporate a, a unique way to make a painting in front of everyone. And uh, I've been doing this for several years now, having fun, meeting a lot of people from all over the world, and just sharing the passion of art. What initially got me interested in, in painting is, uh, well, as a young kid uh, growing up, I've always been uh, amazed and inspired by other people who created art. And as I was growing up, I would be uh, um, just totally intrigued how they were able to do that. And so I started to teach myself, well, if they can do that too, well, maybe I can. So I would start off with the, you know, the basics, which is pencil drawings, crayons, watercolor, oil paintings. Eventually, it started to move on from different uh, genres. And then I never really messed around with spray paint. So that surprises a lot of people that I'm actually in the world of spray paint now. And uh, when I started uh, spray painting, it actually was a, was a, just a random thing in, at home. I was, I was messing around with spray paint. But at the time, there were a lot of uh, controversy with spray paint going on. This is back in the 90s, where the artists that were spray painting the buildings were getting a lot of trouble, especially, especially graffiti, the graffiti art. So I took it upon myself and I said, well, I'm an artist, maybe I should try to mess around with spray paint, but instead of on the wall, I'll try it on paper. And uh, so, I, so that was part of the initial idea. But then another idea came in my head, and that is when I was in grade school, our, uh, my teacher had the whole class get a piece of whiteboard and all the students and myself had to scribble all these different colors of crayons on the board. And then we covered the whole thing black, we painted the whole thing black. And the next day, we had to etch out a, a design. So what happens is the color of the crayons would, would appear through the black when you scratch it the black off. So they call it etching. And I said to myself, is it possible to do the same technique using spray paint? I had no idea if it was gonna work, but I did. I tried it out at home, and I noticed that if I don't let the paint dry, the, the, the layers of paint dry too quickly on me, I was able to scratch out the colors from the bottom. When I was able to do that, it, it was like a revelation for me as an artist. I said, wow, okay, it's possible. Now, what else can be done? And then I just started to incorporate more ideas. I did not learn this off of anybody. I learned on my own and just just started uh, improvising because I have no one to watch. And so I really did not know where this was leading me to. I just went with the flow. And uh, when I went to New York City years ago, I walked in all the galleries and I would look at these paintings, real big paintings that the artists would make. You know, oil paintings that is and I would look at the painting and study it, and I would say, if I would, were to recreate this artwork just using spray paint, what colors would I spray first? So I would look at a painting, I would dissect it in my mind, and I would Im imagine, okay, if I were to create this, recreate this with spray paint, what colors I would throw first? And, and, I, and my mind was like a scientist at the time. When I got home, and I started practicing with spray paint in the garage, Things just started to like magically appear in my, my paper. When I first started, I used to just paint the paintings in five, 10 minutes, the max. Because I was always thinking, well, I have to do this really quick so I can keep the audience's attention. And I noticed that as I started to add more elements in my art, the show got longer. <laughs> Instead of 10 minutes, it, it got 30 minutes and then now it's like almost an hour show because there's more, more things involved. And, and, I, and I stopped thinking about the time anymore. I, I just focused on the artwork. 
because I knew that if that if someone were to take this painting home, I wanted them to see that I did the best to my ability. Every single painting I do, I put 110% of my time and energy and love. Art is everything. So the rewards are beyond words. Uh, I love what I do. I'm passionate about art. I get to meet people from all over the world. And I get to introduce art to people who, who never was familiar with, with a paintbrush or, or, or the tools of art. At one point in my show, I love to hand out the cans of spray paint to the audience, you know, in the front row especially. And a lot of them don't know what to expect. You know, I'll say to them, I need your help. Uh, and so I start handing out the cans of spray paint. And of course the music's playing and I'll find a song that has, that's good to shake the cans to. And I have the audience shaking the cans. And so they'll be shaking the cans for maybe a, a, a couple of minutes or so. But when I start to retrieve the cans back, I also reward them with a lollipop. So they get, they get rewarded for that. And not only the people who shake the cans, I, I give everybody lollipops because, it, because that's where I, I'm rewarding for being such a great audience. I can get really, really crazy because the crowd starts to get excited and they, they're cheering and they're clapping. I'm sure in their heads they're going, this guy is crazy, but they're still with me and they're encouraging me by cheering or clapping. And that affects my work because I just start flowing with the energy of the music and what I'm doing. And it's just hard to describe, but it's sort of like divine intervention takes over because these paintings come out beyond what I had imagined initially. I still make mistakes, so, so to speak, in my art, but nobody would know the difference because I some, somehow learned to alter the painting you know, with spray paint. People come up to me all the time and say, how do you do it, Wayne? How do you survive? Especially the times in Waikiki where rent is expensive everywhere. I said, you know something? I can't believe I'm doing it myself, that, that I'm still here. But with the blessing of everyone watching my show and buying my paintings, I, I'm still here. <laughs>